What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out what are going to be the top teams created by members of the community, fellow content creators, that you guys can use for the Ultra League Premier Cup. It's been a week since the Ultra League has come out now in Season 7. We still have about a week left, so I want to showcase a lot of creators today so you guys can go check out their channel. If you're unfamiliar with them, be sure to subscribe, help support these fellow creators, and be sure to try their teams. They're all incredibly strong, and I'm going to have time timestamps down below so you guys can click ahead for Pokemon that you may be interested that I'll highlight from each individual team. But before we get into the video, we do have an announcement for a awesome classic Master League tournament with a cash prize pool hosted by Pogo Raids and King IV. We're going to pop up a graphic right here, but this is going to be an awesome custom tournament made. There'll be links down in the description to the Discord so you guys can join um, and get yourself into this tournament. There'll be four separate tournaments top two players from each will go into a final top eight tournament for the cash prize of a thousand dollars for first place seven hundred and fifty dollars for second place and five hundred for third place there's also a lot of unique bands and mega evolutions will also be allowed which is going to be really awesome but again check the ban list there's also going to be a link to the uh pv poke rankings for this tournament as well down in the description you guys it basically if you guys want to get into this there's gonna be links down there pv poke rankings um how to join the discord community get into the tournament and everything you guys need to know this is gonna be a lot of fun i imagine king is going to be covering this potentially on live stream and whatnot so so if you guys want to join in, be sure to go check it out. It is going to be starting very soon. So are you guys going to enter into that tournament? Are you going to take first place? Be sure to let me know down in the comments and be sure to let me know which team from today's video is your guys' favorite and what creators do you love from this group? Let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, first up, we have a team created by Caleb Pang. So shout out to him. You guys know Caleb Pang's teams. When he drops them, they're absolute fire. They're incredibly strong and he takes his time showcasing all the different matchups so that you guys can climb and win and go battling but this team having shadow or not shadow gengar normal gengar with the shadow claw and shadow punch with ice shard lapras and a crustal which is going to do really well in the current meta that we do see so if this is a team you guys want to try and run be sure to go check out caleb pang and subscribe next up we have j farm and scrub lord dustin j farm in this video um runs xl umbreon which is an absolute monster i'm sure you guys have seen how strong it can be in the ultra league premier cup now it's kind of tough to see but you guys can see from the video when you go watch it that they are using it with venusaur and talon flame as well they are also awesome twitch streamers so be sure to go check that out if you guys are interested head over to their channel link down in the description next up we have fp sticks a phenomenal content creator and amazing battler showcasing just how strong shadow machamp can be i believe in shadow machamp myself from the first week of Ultra League Premier Cup because of its ability to handle those XL Pokemon that we do see, like XL Abomasnow, XL Umbreon, XL Galarian Stunfisk, XL Talonflame. Shadow Machamp is the answer. Normal Machamp as well, but Machamp is primed this season to dominate, and the team he's running with there is Empoleon and XL Talonflame as well. If you guys want to go check out this video and learn more about this team, links down in the description. Next up, we have Purple Kyogre, an awesome content creator, and showcasing someone else's battles who submitted to the channel, which is kind of funny, Green Groudon, which is, there's Purple Kyogre, and he's showcasing Green Groudon. That's really hilarious. But anyways, this is going to be a Gavantula double water team and utilizing Empoleon there on safe swap is absolutely deadly because of drill pack it can handle a lot of common counters that we do see in the meta like Machamp and Venusaur because it will do super effective damage and obviously Gavantula XL is absolutely incredible and a lot of people were able to get it from farming Joltix in the wild during that spark event last week next up we have Tho Tactical here you guys know Tho an incredible battler and you guys should go check out his streams as well I'm in there all the time when I do dishes and make dinner just to watch him battle and see what Pokemon he uses. But utilizing the Gallade and Empoleon core, which has been a staple for Ultra League Premier Cup for a couple seasons now, it's incredibly strong. And he showcases just how strong XL Talonflame can be. So if you guys have an XL Talonflame and you guys utilize that core like we did in previous seasons, this might.
might be the team for you. Be sure to go check that out. Next up, we have Yonkis with his shiny Agron. Agron has been kind of slept on and it's kind of joked about um, as a Pokemon here in Pokemon Go, but in this current meta of Ultra League Premier Cup, especially with all of those Talonflame, those Dragonites, and those Togekiss, Agron is actually the one laughing and Yonkis showcases how strong this team can be running with Double Grass in the back, and utilizing that Tangrowth with that Rock Slide, which really helps out against a lot of its counters, um, like those Flyers, like Dragonite, um, or the Talonflame XL, which you guys will run into a lot. So if you guys want to use an Agron team, be sure to go check out this video. Next up, we have Shrady here, and Shrady showcases just how strong S Cavalier can be, as well with no XL Pokemon on this team. So we got X S Cavalier, Gallade, and Swampert there, all of which you guys can obtain, and I'm sure you guys have invested in a lot of these Pokemon already if you've been playing in previous seasons. It's definitely strong, and S Cavalier is very strong in this meta as well, so be sure to go check that out that video and subscribe. Next up, we have none other than the king of Go Battle League, Pogo King, so shout out to him. He's showcasing a battler set here with Shadow Cloister. How awesome is that? It has somewhat similar movesets to Double Legacy Dugong from the Great League, having Ice Shard and Icy Wind, and it's a Shadow one, so this team definitely spicy, definitely fun, and has a lot of play in the meta. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Something short and sweet. I wanted to highlight a lot of creators in the community who have been making great videos and great teams that you guys can utilize and learn about and use in Go Battle League for high success yourself. So let me know down in the comments which team was your favorite, what creator did you guys not know about, or which one of these creators is your guys' favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.